When First Lady arrived at the Kenyatta National Hospital, her smile concealed the fury buried deep inside her. As she visited the casualties of the oil tanker fire tragedy that occurred in Molo, their suffering tore into her heart. But while here, the words uttered by the Minister for Internal Security, George Saitoti, in Molo, rang in her mind, and her emotions resurfaced as raw as the day she watched the minister speak. <laughs> How can dead people be taught a lesson? They are already dead. And I wondered, why did he fly all the way from Nairobi to go tomorrow to say that? To hurt the people who are already mourning their dead. The First Lady is confident that the tragedy would not have happened at all if Saitoti's ministry, through the Grassroots Provincial Administration, sensitized Kenyans against putting themselves in life-threatening situations. Our people are ignorant, but they are innocent. They treat petrol like water. The kids I have seen here, they are all young. The oldest person here is 34. And now she has issued an ultimatum. How will they know if you don't educate them? Can these people I mentioned from those two ministries explain to me and I challenge them to tell me by writing by tomorrow, why didn't they do it? But it is not only Saitoti who attracted her wrath. Apparently, she was not pleased with the big political entourage that descended on the scene in such a one that fateful day. She believes many here were publicity-hungry individuals. But we cannot tolerate the readers who want to be seen on TV every day on newspapers every day, parading for the press, saying, we shall do this, we will see the government does this, we will see this, and this, and this. That is hollow speech. She now wants the media to snob such politicians, whom she hopes will begin civic education in their constituencies, alongside the chiefs and the district officers. Many people who watched the tragic incident on TV may have wondered why did those people put themselves in such a risky situation. But as the First Lady said, it cannot always be assumed that common sense is common and that's why civic education is very important. Sylvia Chebet, Citizen TV.